a lot of people never go for an audition. What happens at an audition? What happens in an yeah. audition, this is really good that you're recording this because not a lot of people experience it and a lot of people are scared um, of the fact of an audition. Um, there's so many different kind of auditions. I've been to casting directors' houses, their own personal house, um, a one-on-one. -on -one. Sometimes you may have five or four people in there. A lot of the time you meet uh, the first audition, a lot of the time it's the caster director and uh, the, a camera lady or a cameraman and they ask you to describe your character um, what what you think she's like. Um, that's not in the brief. It's not necessarily a good thing to recite the brief. It's your personal mm. opinion. And then uh, they ask, sometimes you get the option to choose scenes from the script or they may ask you to prepare a certain scene. And then you read when, when you're ready. Uh, sometimes you talk about yourself I think you might want to kind of see how you are as a person and how you personally, professionally come across. Um, but sometimes they don't. And they'll go straight for a read and usually the camera lady or man will read alongside the different characters that your character will be involved in. And once that's finished, sometimes they give you feedback. Uh, they may ask you to do it a certain way so you've got a different options on tape. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they turn the camera off and go, thanks. And you're like, okay. And you don't know what to do. Uh, you don't know whether it went well. Some, they don't, sometimes they don't tell you if it went well. So it coming, can be as cold as that sometimes. So coming back to the audition of Becky then, you were just over the moon. It just went so well. It went so well. Um, I had the, the Did usually, they ring you straight away? Yeah, well, yeah, kind of. Yeah, but you, you've, got to be, you've got to rein that in, you've got to be careful because the more excited you get, the more disappointed you are when you receive that you've obviously not got it. Uh, usually the second audition is with the director. Um, my first audition for Syndicate was with the director and the casting director, David Shaw, and the producer, Yvonne, and the camera lady and... Oh no, the, the camera lady was helping the casting director read with me. Um, sometimes the casting director uses the camera. So I sat down, I came in, I was absolutely nervous, ridiculously nervous, and David knows me, and David was saying, Natalie, she likes real people, be real, be who you are, that's why I've asked you to come today. Okay. I was sat with a lady that was going up against me as well, in, uh, so we were both going for the same character. Sometimes that's really awful, but she was really lovely. Sometimes you understand that professional, you just need to be. That's what his work is. Anyway. So I went in and uh, I got a good reception. I got a lovely smiles all around, which is good. Um, sat down, they asked me what they thought I believed Becky was. And then we started reading and I think, so it's, I think they were really happy I was off script because it becomes real. If I was sat here reading, da, 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 you don't get, you don't get the full experience, the full, do you know what I mean? Of me being Becky. Do you dress for the Becky. part? You, sometimes you do, or not dramatically, say if it was a period drama, I wouldn't go in a big massive dress, um, but I'd look smart. So you, you, you've got to kind of give them that uh, idea that you can look a certain way, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, if I need to look younger, I know a fringe makes me look younger, so I'll wear my fringe down. If I need to look rough, so to speak, I'll have my hair curly without a fringe. See, there's, you find yourself knowing what kind of look it is that they're looking for. So you, you try and match that. I went with Becky, curly hair, nothing like the character, no fringe. <laughs> oh my God, that looks like I'm totally contradicting myself. Um, but I dressed Fairly young, but kind of hip, because I don't believe that she's she's um, classy. Um, I think that she's quite trendy in the times. So, so you've got to kind of think about that with the character as well as you're reading, because there might be certain things that she shops at Topshop or she shops here. So then you kind of got to go with the look of the Topshop. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Does that, does that make sense? It does. So um, after we read, uh, she usually gives you um, feedback. She said, I don't need no feedback. She went, that's, there's a shame there wasn't a real camera on you. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, she's, 
she's totally inspirational. I love Kay Mella, I love all the work. I've seen a lot of it. I've, I, I've even worked with her on the chase before when I was uh, 19, 20, and I look completely different then. I had black hair. I was a lot younger, and I was a very small character, so I never expected her to remember me, but she did, which is really nice. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.